Hey Floss Tube, it's Leslie with Fat Cat Flossing, and I hope you guys had as wonderful and blessed a Christmas as I did. I'm here today to tell you all about what's going on in my little crazy stitchy corner of the world, and show you, you know, what I got going on, and talk about a few things, and, um, but the first thing I wanted to start off with is just to say thank you, you guys. I'm just absolutely amazed, overcome, flabbergasted. I'm up to 338 subscribers as of this morning. And if you had told me that I would ever get 330 um, subscribers, I would have told you you were smoking crack. Um, I just think that's amazing. Now, I know that there are people who have thousands of subscribers, but they're not me. And little me has 338. And geez, Louise, man. Thank y'all. That's awesome. And y'all just leave the kindest most wonderful comments. You make me feel so validated and um, included, and it's just priceless. I think that's one of the the best things about FlossTube as a whole is just the, the sense of community and belongingness, and thank you for including me in that. That's awesome. But moving right along, <clears throat> a little bit of good news. I got a tripod. Yes, I did. So hopefully there will be less crazy camera shakiness Although, I have to tell you, I am going to make you a little seasick this morning because I have to show you one of my Christmas presents because it's just one of the best things I've ever gotten. This was actually the best Christmas I can remember having since my son was a little kid. Because, you know, it's always cool when your kids are little and they're so um, enthralled with everything they get and you just, you know, catch their joy by osmosis because they're so happy with things. But as an adult, I mean, Christmas is always awesome, but it's more about, um, I think about the family thing, you're having the dinner, getting together with folks, visiting, than it is about, pardon me, about gift giving. And we're not, we're not huge Christmas spenders. I mean, we just, you know, reality is we can't be. Um, but we, you know, we get little things for the people that we care about. But, um, Steve and I tend to reward each other throughout the year um, with things rather than having a big hoopty do at Christmas because um, neither one of us is really good at delaying gratification. Um, but this year, you know, this is our first, um, well, last year was our first Christmas in Arkansas, um, but my mother-in-law was recovering from um, knee replacement surgery and we were recovering from the move. And we're still pretty disorganized. And we actually, because my mother-in-law wasn't up to cooking, we had Christmas dinner at my house last year. Well, November 18th was the anniversary of us being in Arkansas for one year. And my in-laws got steak and lobster to cook for us to celebrate our one-year anniversary. Well, when November 18th rolled around, I was just sick as a dog with an upper respiratory infection. And I couldn't smell anything, so I couldn't really taste anything. So we did, just all decided that we were going to delay the steak and lobster till, you know, Christmas. Because um, who doesn't want steak and lobster, right? So we didn't have a big, you know, it was and it was easy to cook. My mother-in-law is just one of the best cooks ever. And, you know, she threw the steaks on the grill, stuck the lobsters and some baked potatoes in the oven. And it was easy. It was simple. I made a dessert, one of those um, puff pastry trees with the Nutella um, chocolate in it. Took me 20 minutes. It was super easy. So we had a really easy but awesomely delicious Christmas dinner. We actually did our Christmas on Christmas Eve um, because Steve only got yesterday, Christmas Day, off. And um, we just kind of wanted him to have a day to sit around and do a little to nothing and, and actually enjoy a day off besides it being Christmas. So... Anyway, we had this wonderful dinner on, on Christmas Eve evening, and then we were all going to open gifts. And we had talked with my in-laws about we had, you know, like a $50 gift budget and don't get us a bunch of stuff and blah, 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 blah. So we go over there and we start opening presents. And one of the things my mother-in-law hands me is like a flat shirt box kind of thing. And I open it up and it's a picture of Steve's lizard, Ernie, in there. I said, oh, that's really cool. You know, we'll have to get a frame and put it up. And she went, well, you don't have to get a frame because I've got one for you. And my father-in-law comes out of her craft room toting this. This is a stand-up screen. And she has, over the last few months, Snuck over to my house every chance she had 
and taken pictures of some of my cats. Well, all the cats. I think she got pictures of everybody. And so it's two-sided. Got all these awesome pictures of all my animals because, as you can tell, Steve and I are animal freaks. But, honestly, one of the best presents I have ever, ever gotten. I was just, um, my friend Susan Kaplan, who is Jewish, uses um, a Yiddish term from, <laughs> from time to time. And one of the words she likes to use is for klimt. And it means simply overcome with emotion. And it was the perfect term for how I felt when I got this. I mean, she had taken all this time to do this. And, you know, she knows how much my animals mean to me. And I was, I was just overcome. I cried like a baby. <laughs> but it was so awesome. It was just the best present I have gotten in forever and a day. And I'm just so excited. I have to find a place to put it in my house now where the cats, when they go to running around like crazy little demons, um, like their tails were on fire, where they won't knock it over. Because I would be most upset if they trashed it. Um, but I'm working on that. But I'm just thrilled with it. Absolutely thrilled with it. I'm just crazy about it. So I thought the big hoopty doo was over with that. And then the next thing they do is a little bit of background. Steve and I both piddle around with playing an instrument. Now, I played the guitar when I was in high school, and I actually played in the church choir. But I sing so badly that they literally told me, strum and move your mouth, but don't make any noise. Yes, honest to God, that's what they said. And they were justified in doing so because I couldn't carry a tune if you gave me a bucket to put it in. But anyway... Long story short, we both piddle around with playing an instrument. I have a six-string guitar that I pull out every once in a while and play, and then my fingers hurt, and I don't play it again for a while. And my husband has toyed with a um, dulcimer, and then he's got a couple of ukuleles. And he's actually getting pretty good with the ukuleles. He's far better than I am. Um, and one of the things he's been wanting is what's called a banjo lele, which is... You know, the four-string version of a banjo um, that's supposedly easier to play. So we were at the music store a couple weeks ago, and um, we needed some more of those little four-clock hangers so we could get all our instruments hung up in the office, um, because that's the best way to keep them safe from the cats. Um, and, you know, we ran in there to pick that up, and they had this banjo lele, and it was a lot of money. And Steve wanted, and I said, well, you know, they've got a layaway. Maybe we can put it on a layaway after the first of the year. And he was okay with that because, you know, I mean, you know, reality. We know what it is. It is what it is. So anyway, we came home and we were visiting with my in-laws about um, going to the music store. And mentioned this banjo layaway and how it was planned to go put it on layaway for, for him after the first of the year. And they didn't say anything then. But they came, <laughs> they handed these us these two little packages to open, and in them were a couple of hangers, one a little bit larger for the guitar, and one for a ukulele, a smaller one. So, oh, that's awesome, because I have hangers, but I can't find the hardware to hang them up, so I'm going to have to go to Lowe's and look for that. But anyway, cool, we needed those, awesome, we'll get our stuff hung up, way to go. And then, again, comes my father-in-law out of JJ's craft room with the banjo lele for Steve, and a 12-string guitar for me. Yeah, I lost it again. Verklempt. Perfect word, Susan. Perfect word. I was just overcome. And what's cool is my in-laws actually play music well, a lot and well. My, my mother-in-law plays guitar and 12-string guitar and sings, and my father-in-law plays bass. And they have an actual, you know, one of their, they've converted their guest room into their music room. So it's a big deal. Now we're going to all play together and my husband came up with that we should be the 4-H club and that's the silliest thing you ever heard and I love it just love it to pieces so I'm really looking to play forward to playing some music with them and they're kind they, they let me sing even though I can't that'll never happen in public you may take that to the bank but anyway what it all boiled down to was what a wonderful Christmas we had not only because of the wonderful gifts that we got because we spent time with people that we loved and it was just awesome it was the most fun ever y'all pardon me one minute but anyway i hope that y'all's christmases were just as blessed and happy as mine and you know 
if they were, then everybody should be having a good day today. But like I said in my last video, I've been planning some new starts. And if I were a betting woman, I... What are you... No. Fairy says hi. There are only two places in my house that the cats are not allowed to get. One of them is the China Hutch for, you know, obvious reasons. And the other one is the bar over there. Over there. Because... There's generally breakable shit on it, too. But where do you think they want to get? Yeah, the hutch in the bar. Especially the younger ones. Like Fairy, she's only eight months old. She's still kind of kittenish and learning what she can and can't do. Um, that, that's not where they can go. But anyway, if I were a betting woman, I would not have bet on me getting these four new starts that I had planned for the last four days done. But do you know what? I did it. I'm proud of myself. I hadn't done a whole lot of stitching in the last couple of weeks because, you know, just Christmas stuff, busy, general busyness. And I've been all um, worked up on getting project bags done. But the project, I had eight project bags done, which were enough for my current whips, plus these new four. And I actually got all four new starts done. Aren't y'all proud of me? I'm sure proud of me. I'm excited. And I just want to stitch. I want to sit down and stitch, stitch, stitch. And I've got tons of laundry i got to do. So I guess today is laundry day. That's what I think about that. Anyway. This is the first one I started on. This is, whoops, Henry O'Hare by Lizzie Kate. And again, thanks to Linda who um, shared her stash with me. Let me purchase these for a very reasonable price because I just think they're adorable. But since Henry O'Hare needs to be done by Easter, I did get a start on him. That's kind of his vest, the plaid pattern on his vest. So I got a little bit done. Not a whole lot, but, you know, enough to say I got a start. It's start, damn it. That's what I'm calling it. You can't make me not. And maybe I'll get a little, more, a little bit more done on him today. But anyway, I did get started on him. Yay, me. And then on, I guess I started Henry on Friday. And then Saturday... I started on another Lizzie Kate, the selfie sampler. Excuse me. And I just love this pattern. And I, I finally decided that since I had that oblong box to put it in, that I would, can y'all see that? I need to get something to hold behind these. That I would um, do a long ways one and kind of adjust the pattern to include the bird. Um, but I got a little start on it. Got um, It says, today I will, that's as far as I got. But anyway, again, it's a start. And this one is on a 32 count, um, 32 count linen, pink. I don't remember what it's called. If I remember it, I'll put it in the comments. Henry was on the kind of bluish violet fabric that was included with the kit. And then Sunday, Christmas Eve, I actually got another start. Yay me. Um, this is, if a flower bloomed by Mosey and me. And this is going to be for my best friend Charlotte. And I got a little bit done on, on it. Kind of the center of that birdhouse there. Um, and this is done on Lugana, I think. I think it's Lugana. Maybe Joe Bloom, but I think it's Lugana. But it was really easy. After stitching on the 32 count, my eyes were happy for me to be stitching on this. Because I think it's 25. So much easier. And then I got frustrated. That's what happened next. Yeah, I always about fit to be tied. I had pulled out um, Land of Liberty by Country Cottage Needleworks, I think. I'm having a brain spell. I think that's who it is. If it's not, I'll correct it when I enter the comments. And I thought I had purchased all the threads for it. And I got ready to do it, and lo and behold, I was short like three threads. I don't know how I skipped those, but I did. Damn it. Okay, fine. But it needed to get started because it's a July 4th thing, um, or at least that's what I want it for. Um, so I needed to get started. So I knew that I had Old Glory by Little House Needleworks, um, also in my stash. So I pulled out Old Glory, and I thought, well, you know, I think I bought all the threads when I bought it. I'm, I'm going to get started on that. 
So I got to pull in the threads and I had, I think two of the fancy flosses. And at this point, I just said, screw it and pull the rest in DMC. And frankly, I guess I had four because this is the, this is tin bucket and it's simply shaker tin bucket. And this is what's supposed to be the blue in the flag. I actually like the actual more blue color uh, much better. So I'm actually okay with having pulled the DMC for that. And kind of the same thing for the red, um, the barn door color, which is a classic color, classic color works color, um, wasn't real red red. Um, so I'm okay. I had that one, but I went ahead and pulled the DMC red um, 355, which was the alternative listed in the pattern um, for that, because I wanted it to really look a little more patriotic. And I know maybe that's not the aim of the pattern, that it should look a little more prim, but it's what I wanted and it's mine. So I'm gonna do it the way I want. But anyway, I did last night get a fairly decent um, start on Old Glory and Fairy, not helping, not helping little girl. Let's get down. Mom will play with you later. Anyway, I got a decent start on Old Glory <laughs> and then was about to put it away last night and realized I ha already have an error. I'm one stitch short in this area right here. This little stem here should be one stitch longer. So I have to decide if I'm going to rip it out or I'm going to just adjust. And quite frankly, I'm leaning towards adjust because life's short, go with it. But we'll see. But anyway, I got to start on Old Glory. So I got a start on all four things that I was planning to get started on. And I, like I said, I'm real proud of myself because I wouldn't have bet that I'd get that done. Nobody who knows me would have bet that I'd get that done. And they would be wise not to bet on it. <laughs> But anyway, I did get them started, and I plan to continue working. I'm probably going to work on um, a Garden Bloomed, the Mosey and Me pattern for my friend Charlotte um, when I'm done with this and start a couple loads of laundry and, you know, all that minutia that has to be done if you want to, you know, expect the house to keep rolling along. You know, my husband does have to go to work, and he does need clean clothes to do it in. So, laundry day. Yay. Or not. Is what it is. And then uh, last week, you know, I had had all these grandiose plans about um, stitching a lot on this when we were on our way to um, Little Rock weekend before last. And I had very poor follow through. I had all of the little house outlined and I thought, well, I can do that in the car. I'll just whip that out. Yeah, I did, I did a little bit. And then I did a little bit again the other night. Oops, got a needle in there. I pulled the needle out. I really need to stop storing my needles in my fabric because having seen the rust on that other stuff, it's a bad plan. But anyway, there's things unseen. And as you can see, I'm probably eh, a little over half to two thirds done with filling in that little house. But that's as far as I've gotten. Oops. But maybe I'll work on that some this afternoon too. We'll see. We'll see. See how the spirit moves me. It may move me poorly because, frankly, I'm tired. But, yeah. Laundry and then stitching. We'll see what happens when, when that all goes. But I am um, really looking forward to getting this done. And I'm really struggling, y'all. I really am struggling with this. Um, I want to start a new one. I want to start Shepherd's Bush. Oh, beautiful. Because that's going to be my big project this year. And it is a big project. It's gorgeous, but it's big. So I'm really struggling with the, can I go ahead and start on that? Or do I need to kind of catch up on Lizzie Kate? Because that's the other biggest thing I've got going. So what do y'all think? Should I go for it? Or just have one more unfinished thing hanging around? I don't know. I don't know what to do. I probably need to make a little more progress before I jump ship on that, I guess. Oh, that doesn't sound like anywhere near as much fun. But anyway, and then I have a little bit of haul. Just a little bit because, you know, I had a big shopping spree a couple weeks ago. So no more shopping for me for a while. But this one I had ordered a while back. This is God Save the Queen from Annie B's um, Folk Art. And, you know, I have a bee thing because my cattery name for my cats is Bumblebee and, you know, 
suits that quote that I'm so crazy about. And, um, so I had to have this one. I really think it's cool. So God Save the Queen. That'll go into the rotation at some point. And then I keep seeing everybody stitching the Satsuma um, street designs patterns. And I, they're just so vibrant and colorful all the time. And they're not my particular cup of tea usually. Um, and I don't really know why, but they don't speak to me like a lot of things do. But when I saw Garden Cats, I did have to get that one. And it was just a PDF download from Etsy. Um, and I'll link the store below. But isn't that cute, that little blue cat? I think he's so cool. And I think this looks like a pretty easy quick stitch, too. But I don't think I have all the threads for this one. I don't remember looking at it and seeing what it was. Where's the thread list? Where's the thread list? Where's the thread list? Oh, it's trying to do all DMC. So I will have all of it. So I like that. I thought it was really pretty and bright and just fun. And then I had purchased these, oh gosh, I guess back in the summer maybe. Um, and these are all three from Red Bear Designs on Etsy. And there's a kitty. And a chick. And a bunny. And I just think those are so sweet. They're just so sweet. I love the soft, pretty colors in them. Um... So, I finally downloaded them because I think Etsy sent me a, a, another warning saying, download your shit. But anyway, I love them. Red Bear Designs, and I'll link that one too. And then, I don't remember, as always, on um, Stitch Mania or Cross Stitch Attic, somebody had posted the Christmas Grumpy Cat. And... I My tree is covered in blown glass ornaments, primarily, and I've kind of got a Victorian color scheme, whatever, you know, pinks and mauves and purples and pastels on my tree. So I'm not big on usually cross-stitch and ornaments because they don't fit my tree theme. But yeah, Grumpy Cat is going to have to be done. Now, I think I'm going to do her, I may do her on a, um, like a larger count fabric and make her a flat fold and, and put her on the hall tree or hang her up on the wall or something. But yeah, she's going to have to happen because if I were a cat, I'd look a lot like that. See the resemblance? You should. You'd be two of a kind. And then, and that was a freebie from uh, Brooke Nolan and I'll link that one below too. And then this is another free freebie called Merry Christmas from the Nebby Needle. And I just thought it was cute. And I don't know that I'm in a huge Christmas cross-stitching mood anymore, but um, I'd like to get that done at some time. And it was a freebie, so what the heck, I went ahead and downloaded it, printed it out, and I'll put it in my stash. So, just really cute, simple cute. I may change the colors a little bit to kind of suit my vibe a little bit more, but I liked it a lot. And what else? Oh, yeah. I drew the um, winners for those two pieces of fabric. I had a piece of Ada and a piece of um, Hardanger that my stat in my stash. And I don't stitch on either one. And I've figured out at this point in my life that it's time to de-stash the stuff that I will for sure never, ever, 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 ever in a million years use. So a couple, I guess last week, um, I included that that giveaway in my last, you know, a video from last week. Not the last one, but a couple back and said I would draw those today. So I did. Um, at 10 o'clock this morning, I um, assigned each comment, because you had to comment to be entered. I assigned each comment a number and then used a random number generator to have it choose the winners. And the two winners for that, for this, the heart anger is Susan Oberfell. And for the Ada is Lori Grifori? Grifor? Griforé? I think it's Grifori probably, but sorry if I'm mutilating it. Um, anyway, I will um, reply to your comments on my YouTube with this giveaway. Um, but you guys get in touch with me. Let me know where you want this mail to, and I will get those out in the mail. Probably either tomorrow or Thursday. Um, I have to go into Fort Smith on Thursday to get the oil changed in my car and stuff, so... Thursday is probably going to be errand day. 
And New Year's dinner is at my house, so I have to go to the grocery store. Have I mentioned I would rather, absolutely, honest to God, take a beating than go to the grocery store? It is on my most hated list of any kind of chore. I just hate the grocery store, and I really hate it when it's crowded. And you know it's going to be. You know, I've got a bad back and bad knees, and, you know, tootling around the grocery store makes my back hurt worse. So, not looking forward to that, but, you know. We got to eat, and I have to get a ham, and black-eyed peas, and all that routine New Year's stuff. We'll have a really exciting New Year's Eve. I mean, we're like, we may be awake to see the ball drop. I wouldn't give that better than 60-40 against. Maybe. I think around 11 is our bedtime. Oh, I guess that's, that's, your, that's midnight on the East Coast. So, maybe. We'll see. So, here's to you. If we're awake then, <laughs> let's see. But anyway, I think that's about all I had to talk about. Let me look at my list real quick. Yep, that looks like it. Short little video, 25 minutes today. Um, but anyway, thanks again, y'all, for watching. I really appreciate you. Y'all have made me feel very included and, and welcomed, and that's awesome. Get off of there. So um, as of now, I'll quit yelling at my cats for y'all to see. <laughs> All yelling cats will probably continue when the video's over. But thank you again. I hope you all had a joyous, merry, blessed Christmas. And I wish you all the very happiest of New Year's. I'm sure I'll visit with you again before then because, oh, oh, oh yeah, one more thing. Um, I have a giveaway going for um, project bag material to make two project bags. Um, I'm going to draw two names via the random number generator on that. Um, if you look for the tutorial or the... Um, the video from last week that talks about making the project bags. Um, that's where I talk about that. So if you, you know, uh, like and subscribe and, and comment, you'll be entered to get that material. And it's a half yard of two different types of material. Um, so you can use either tutorial that I've linked and have enough to, to do that. Um, you would just need to purchase a zipper if you decided to do the one. But that's it. Thank you all again, y'all. I will talk to you soon. Love to y'all. Bye.